If you're thinking about starting a business and you're asking yourself, how do I know what business to start? You might want to pump the brakes and reassess whether you should even start a business. Ask yourself these three questions. One, have I done enough research on what it takes to start a business from scratch? Two, do I know my business alphabets? That's PNL, COC, ROI, EBITDA, IRR. If that sounds foreign to you, stop. Do I have experience starting a business? If you can't answer yes to all of these questions, consider buying a business than starting a business. And here's why. The first, lower risk. Purchasing an established business typically involves less risk compared to starting one anew. With an existing business, you inherit its customer base, revenue streams, and operational framework, reducing the uncertainties associated with starting a business from scratch. When you start a business from scratch, no one knows who you are outside of your friends and family, and they are not your customers. It takes a lot of work to build a customer base. If you're a new business owner, there's so many other aspects of the business you need to learn that you may not have the adequate time or money needed to focus on building a customer base. The next thing is a proven track record. Buying a business gives you access to its historical performance data, allowing you to evaluate its profitability, growth trajectory, and potential challenges. This insight enables you to make more informed decisions and implement strategies to further enhance the business's success. When you start a business from scratch without any experience, you have no historical data to glean off of. You're doing it and pivoting and adjusting as you go. These pivots typically end up eating into your earnings. For example, let's say you open a brand new coffee shop. You print out all your menus and design all your product offerings and purchase all of your food inventory. Customers do not buy but you learn that they really like this item that's not currently on your menu. You would then have to spend more money reprinting your menu and buying new food inventory. These learning curves are inevitable in starting a new business, but they're costly and can sometimes be a detriment. The next item, faster ROI, your return on investment. Unlike a startup that can take years to turn a profit, an established business often generates immediate cash flow. This means you can start seeing returns on your investment sooner rather than later, providing a quick path to success. Also, banks are more inclined to lend to entrepreneurs who are purchasing existing businesses as opposed to starting a new one. Why? Because the business has a track record. Moving on to the next item, existing infrastructures. An established business typically comes with pre-existing infrastructure, including equipment, inventory, supplier relationships, and operational processes. Leveraging these assets can streamline your entry into the market and minimize the time and resources needed to get up and running. With a new business, let's go back to our coffee shop example. You would have to source your food distributor. You might get one and find they're always late with your inventory. Then guess what? You would have to spend time sourcing a new one. You might have purchased all of your equipment and realize your espresso machine doesn't grind your coffee beans well and now you need to invest in new equipment. Established businesses have already paid that price for you, so you can focus on running the business and enhancing your entrepreneurial skills. Last but not least, room for improvement. While buying an existing business provides a solid foundation, there's still ample opportunity to put your stamp on it. You can implement your ideas, strategies, and improvements to further grow and improve the cash flow of the business to better suit your vision and your goals. If you're interested in buying a business and seeking financing, watch my must-have for business loan approval. Until next time, guys.